So former President Trump spent his day today in a courtroom in Florida where they had a hearing on his classified documents case. His legal team has been trying to get most of his 40 criminal charges thrown out. Trump leaving there just a short time ago. News Nation's Tom Dempsey still there, live outside the courthouse in, in Fort Pierce. So, all right, uh, Tom, they wrapped it up, right? Um, tell us what happened. How did the Trump team make their case? Hey, Connell. Yeah, this all wrapped up in about half an hour ago here in Fort Pierce, Florida, inside the federal courthouse you see behind me. Uh, one of the biggest takeaways of this afternoon session was just how combative things got between the Trump legal team with uh, Judge Eileen Cannon. This whole afternoon session uh, revolved around what's known as the Presidential Records Act. And for our viewers at home, basically what that means and what that pertains to is that the president can deem certain records as personal records, certain documents as personal records, and maintain possession of them. You can see how maybe the Trump legal team would use that Presidential Records Act and connect it to this classified documents case. But the judge really pushed back on that defense and asked a lot of questions towards the Trump legal team about that defense. Uh, the, the special counsel of the prosecution side also, too, tried to poke holes in all that, and even said at one point in the hearing they wanted to address the elephant in the room, that these were highly classified documents that were uh, retained by former President Donald Trump. So that's basically what played out here in the uh, second half of this hearing. Uh, we had two producers from News Nation on the inside. No cell phones, no laptops were permitted inside. But the producers took copious notes, and that included some details about Mr. Trump himself, what he was like in the courtroom. Apparently, they told me they, he was very stern throughout this hearing, paying lots of close attention. Uh, during this second hearing of the afternoon. Uh, but, Connell, I also want to take you outside here because it was interesting being out here as the trial was playing out uh, inside. There were at times it was, uh, you know, it almost felt like a, a rally for the former president. You had uh, supporters here uh, waving flags, banners, chanting for the former president. The St. Lucie County Republican Party encouraged supporters of the former president to be out here when he arrived and when he left. And former President Donald Trump, uh, when he left here in the, from the area right directly behind us here at the Fort Pierce Federal Courthouse, uh, we could see into his uh, the car he was in waving at supporters. And as that was happening, people chanting. Uh, and some of them chanting four more years. So an eventful day here, and perhaps, like I said, Connell, the big takeaway of this afternoon session was just how combative things got between uh, the former Trump's le former President Trump's legal team and Judge Eileen Cannon. Eileen Cannon pushing back against that defense of the Presidential Records Act. Well, it's Connell? interesting now, uh, as you know, Tom, everybody's worried or thinking about the timing of the of the trial itself and whether or not it gets delayed by all of this. Anything from Judge Cannon on that today, or? No official decisions to come out of this. And the whole goal of this hearing, at least for uh, Trump's legal team, was to try and get all these case charges against the former president thrown out. Uh, you know, in the first half of this uh, hearing earlier this morning, uh, the Trump legal team said they tried to bring up how vague they believed this indictment against the former president was, bringing up the exact meaning of things like unauthorized and national security information. The whole goal, like I said, was to try and get uh, this case, uh, the federal documents, classified documents case dismissed against the president. No decision on that. And we're also waiting for another possible decision to come down, uh, possibly moving this trial back. But again, we're still waiting for both of those decisions to still come down, Connell. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.